Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few interesting things to go over because Game Freak has just registered some brand new Pokemon trademarks. Now of course, this could be anything from merchandise to TCG to the Pokemon games, we don't know, but we're going to take a look at it today. And not only that, we have a huge information dump about Pokemon Unite, which is of course coming out tomorrow on the 21st of July. So if you guys are excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment, what do you think these new trademarks could be about? And also, are you excited for Pokemon Unite tomorrow? And subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's take a look at these new Pokemon trademarks. Now, as I did just previously say, this could be anything from the TCG to the merchandise to Pokemon games, it could be anything at all. But, this was tweeted out from Poke Experto. I don't know why the tweet's not being translated, but basically, um, they tweeted out saying Nintendo and Creatures Inc. Game Freak have registered some new trademarks in Japan. So we have Battle Region, which has been trademarked, and we have Star Bath. Now, to me, they sound like TCG sets, but Pokemon Battle Region, Pokemon Star Bath, I mean, I don't really know what else that could be. Like, that doesn't really sound like merch to me. It definitely sounds like the names of future TCG sets. Um, but not only that, we have some more down here as well. Because um, they proceeded to tweet out that uh, we have Battle Legion, uh, something about Battle Region to Battle region, uh, legion, and then Star Bath. Uh, it could be Star Burst, Star Birth, or Star Verse, or Star Books. So basically, these are the different translations. So it could be Battle Legion or Battle Region, and then the second one could be Star Bath, Star Birth, Star Burst, and then Star Verse or Star Books. Now. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a bit of a detective or not, but I'm gonna guarantee that we're not getting Pokemon Starbucks edition. Or maybe we are. Maybe they're doing a collaborative project with Starbucks where they do Pokemon coffees. I don't know. It, it could happen. Um, but that's some new Pokemon trademarks. So Battle Region and Star Bath, or that's what's like loosely translated to. What do you guys think it's about though? I personally think it's gonna be TCG, but we'll have to wait and see uh, for the future. But that's some new trademarks there for uh, for Pokemon. Next up, we have Pokemon Unite. Now, there has been so much information dropped about Pokemon Unite, as you can see from all the different tweets that we're going to be covering today. First of all, you can now pre-download Pokemon Unite on the Switch. Um, Pokemon Unite tweeted this out very early this morning at 4 a.m. for me anyway. It says pre-download now and get into the action even faster this Wednesday. So again, we still don't have a release date time. We don't really know what's happening with a Pokemon Presents. I don't know if one's been announced by at the point I'm recording this video. So if there has been one announced, then wait. If there hasn't been, then it sucks. But either way, uh, we do have a Pokemon Unite available for pre-download right now. So you can easily just pre-download it. And then when it goes live tomorrow, you can just play it instantly. You don't have to download it or anything like that. And there might be like a little update for it. Um, but apart from that, you can just jump straight into it. So very useful to be able to pre-download um, these kind of things. But yes. Get that done if you are a South Pokemon Unite, because then you don't have to wait tomorrow when it drops. Next up, we have um, a bunch of information about the different held items um, that you can get. So these are the ones that you get, like um, you can use in battle. So like your potions and stuff like that. Obviously, when we was playing the beta, I had no idea what anything did because it was all in Japanese, and I can't read Japanese. Um, but Pokemon Unite tweeted out saying, Battle items allow trainers to give their Pokemon a hand in battle in a variety of ways, such as recovering HP or temporarily boosting their attack damage. Choose carefully. Trainers can only bring one battle item into a match. So, of course, this will be linked in the description down below, and you can't see all of the different items on the screen right now. But, for example, we have Full Heal in the top right, which removes all status conditions from your Pokemon and makes it immune to hinder hindrances for a short time. You have the Goal Getter, which doubles goal scoring speed for a short time which i think is gonna be a very very useful move a lot of people are gonna use um like the eject button though which quickly moves your pokemon in the uh, designated direction because it's just a very useful escape we also have slow smoke as well which creates a cloud of smoke that greatly decreases the movement speed of opposing pokemon for a short time now in the beta i was just using potion because it just restored hp and i knew what that did i didn't really know what anything else did so um looking at like the actual descriptions of these items now 
I was missing out because there's some really, really good held items you can have. And then not only that, we have these. Um, so the held item system allows Pokemon to improve their stats in a Unite battle. With the ability to hold up to three held items, you can create combinations that complement your playstyle and strengths. So this is where I feel like the game is a little bit pay to win because with these items, you can upgrade them um, with these like points that you can get. I found this out in the uh, beta. Didn't have a clue what I was doing until obviously it, the level went up. But yeah, you can basically um, upgrade these items with these like ASOS things or whatever they're called, AOS, I don't know. Um, but basically you get those through like the battle pass and, uh, and stuff like that and completing challenges. So that's where I do believe it is a little bit pay to win because obviously you have to pay to buy the battle pass and then you get more of those in the battle pass and then obviously with more of those you can upgrade your items more so that's a little bit unfortunate because i really really hope that this game wasn't going to be paid to win but i think with the, i really like this item kind of format but i think it's a bit unfortunate that it is a little bit paid to win but as you can see there's a bunch of different items the leftovers the rocky helmet the muscle band scope lens these AOS cookies are kind of mad, by the way, because when a Pokemon scores a goal, its max HP increases by 100. That's ridiculous. I'm not sure what it stacks at. I'm guessing it would be like three or four. But that's kind of mad. So if you score like two points in a goal, you still get that. You still get that HP increase of 100. So you can literally just at the start like pop in like points left, right, and center if you have managed to push the enemy back and just get a bunch of HP. Like that's so broken. So again, I didn't know about any of this stuff when I was doing the beta, which was really unfortunate. Um, but like I said, there's a score shield. The shell bell is also quite good. Um, you got your assault vest, XP share, flow stone, wise glasses, special attack specs. Um, it really just depends on who you're playing as. You can have different builds with different characters. It's not like the three same items every time you go in. You, have, you actually have to kind of um, give each individual Pokemon the different items. So that's really useful because you don't have to keep changing them all the time. You can just have a different build for a different Pokemon. So. Um, yeah, the only, like I said, the only unfortunate thing about this is is a little bit pay to win with how you upgrade these. Because obviously when you upgrade the items, they get better. Um, so that's a little bit, like I said, a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. They've got to make money somehow. Uh, next up we have this, which is some more information. This is taken from Pokekalos. So some additional information about the game has been released. The AOS energy that can improve items can be gained up to 30 times per day. So that's what I was just talking about. So that's actually... Wait a minute, the energy to improve items can be gained up to 30 times per day. The maximum amount of AOS energy is 1400. This limit can be gained, uh, be upgraded with a tank. Again, a little bit more pay to win there. If you upgrade it with a tank, you probably have to buy that, which allows you to have more AOS energy, which allows you to upgrade more. Um, so again, a little bit more of a pay to win then. And then like most MOBAs, there will be rewards linked to ranked battles. They will be offered without, a, with, without surprise at the end of the season. The reward obtained will be based on the highest rank you have obtained. So that's really cool. So the higher you get in rank, the better items you get as a reward. So I'm a big fan of that. I like that idea. Um, so that's just some more information there about the, the, the AOS energy is what I was talking about that you use to kind of upgrade this stuff. And then next up, we actually have a, a little uh, kind of video of avatar customization in Pokemon Unite. This was also tweeted out from Poke Experto. It is in Japanese, but as you can say, you can do like different expressions and stuff, which is really cool. I didn't even know you could do this in the beta. I don't know if you could do it in the beta, um, but yeah, you get stickers and stuff. So this is kind of like a little trainer card, I think, and you can just upgrade it. Well, not upgrade it, but just kind of put whatever you want on it. He's got a little crown there, he's doing well. He's got a little Charizard sticker. You can change the background of it, stuff like that. So again, a little bit more character customization there for um, for your trainer card, so that's really cool. And then not only that, we actually have another clip of um, one of the maps. So I don't know if this is the 3v3 map, um, but there's a new Pokemon Unite video with images of the different stadiums. So this is the Regigigas Stadium. I think it's 3v3, this is the map in the top left here. I don't know, it's either 3v3 or 4v4. We've got a... Um, like these kind of um, tracks that go around the map which you can easily get around with which is really really useful and then something happens if you kill the Regigigas as well in the middle so there he is just taking on that Pokemon I don't know what that was a second ago there's Sunkern leaves the Sunkern though and then that's Regigigas absolutely huge so that's just like the Zapdos um, in the normal 5v5s or the Avalug in the middle and in, in the 4v4 um, it's just like you kill that you get like a massive boost for your team I'm guessing um, but he's a big boy. Jesus, just slams the ground, man. Oh, my Lord. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all of the information for Pokemon Unite today. Like I say, there was a lot to go over. I'm um, just going to quickly double check there wasn't a Pokemon Presents announced because I don't know. Um, no, there's a cat instead. <laughs> all right. Never mind. 
thank you all so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you do enjoy it, drop a like, leave a comment. Again, what are your thoughts on the trademarks? What are your thoughts on Pokemon Unite? Make sure to get it pre-downloaded. We'll be doing a big Pokemon Unite stream tomorrow, um, as previously mentioned, where I'm going to be playing... Well, I'm going to be playing for like four hours and then take a break because i got football. But then after that, I'll be playing for like more hours into the night. So, yeah, it's going to be a great day. Have a fantastic rest of your day, though, guys. I'll see you all later. And until next time, peace.